it does seem like the struggle of trying to make it onto the active roster full time seems to be kind of frustrating. Is that is that accurate? Uh, it's frustrating only because you know it's it has nothing to do with football. Um, if you go back and watch the tape from any of my preseasons, um, go watch me play again on uh, Thursday night Thanksgiving against the Giants, 2018. Go that same the following week. Go watch me play Thursday night against the Cowboys in Dallas, 2018. I'm playing against pro bowlers and I'm dominating them. Let's let's look at the clip. Look at the film. Uh, if you think I'm a liar, go pull up the tape and tell me I'm a liar. All right, like, but I wasn't drafted. I wasn't anybody's boy. Uh, nobody was willing to stand on the table for me. So when it comes down to, if you're a GM, I'll put it like this. I always put it in layman's terms for people. Let's say you're a GM, Ryan. You just drafted this defensive lineman that you think is going to be good in the second round. You're paying him $10 million, all right? And then one of your scouts, who technically works for you, works under you, finds somebody else that's better than the guy you picked, and y'all don't owe him as much money. So are you going to admit to this owner that pays you millions of dollars? Hey, man, I messed up. I shouldn't have picked this guy. I should have had this guy. Let's play this guy. Or are you going to try to stash this other guy on your practice squad or on the low end of your roster, not giving him as many reps while you try to hope that the guy that you're paying all this money to grows into the spot, right? Yep. Like it's very, it's very simple business decision. Go back, watch my tape. That's all I got to say. When I got released from the Tampa Bay bucks, Gerald McCoy, hundred million dollar man, Gerald McCoy called me and was like, I don't know what we're doing. You should have been starting next to me. Oh, I mean, what more do I need to say? Yeah, and and that's but that's kind of the frustration I'm talking about is that like it does seem to be like it would mess with my head to know all exactly what you just said. That yeah. like, wait, I'm I'm doing better than the person, and I'm cheaper, but because you made that decision, you're gonna like that would drive me insane. Oh, it did, and that's the reason why I'm here today. I mean, so 2018 was my last year in the NFL. Um, I was on the the Giants practice um, uh, off-season roster for training camp. Dominated training camp, probably my best training camp. Go watch the tape if you don't believe me. And um, when after the, after the preseason, they released me. Um, I was like, okay, well, there's not much more I can do there. Um, I start. Tr I'm still training. I'm ready for my opportunity to come back to the NFL. And in the middle of training and all that, one of my boys. Uh, hosts a Halloween party and he has a wrestling show on it. Um, his name's Mike Busey and he has a wrestling show on his Halloween party. Familiar with Mike goes, Busey. Hey, that's my guy. And I used to actually live at the Sausage Castle. Um, Sausage and Castle. For, for six months I lived there. <laughs> uh, actually, my first WWE contract was sent there because I was living there. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, and, uh, and so he's like, hey man, I'm having a wrestling show. Come be on it. So I do the wrestling show. Never done it before. I debuted a crew. Uh, my character's name was Sugar Bear. And I debuted a car uh, crew. You may have heard of something similar. They were called The Row. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> and uh, we come out and I have the show. And then after the show, the vets in the locker room, they've been wrestling like 10 years. They're like, hey, man, so, you know, where's your home promotion? I'm like, nah, this, I don't really have one. This, I'm, this is my first time. They're like, oh, man, that's great. Like, so, so where you've been trained at? And I'm like, nah, I ain't never trained, bro. Like, so I, you had trained once before that match? She just said, nah, go to a match. Nah. You'd watched it your whole life. You were like, cool, no problem, yeah. and did it? No problem. Was I it knew, against I mean, someone who had doing, trained? It was a battle royal. So okay, you know, anything got it, happen. got it. Yep, yep, yep. It's easy, easy money. So uh, I did everything. They were like, hey, man, you know, good job. But I did some cool spots in there. Like, uh, I, I, we got to run the clip back. I can see the clip.